It's November 5, 2013. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh. 1, 0, plus 1, 2, 3, Lift off. Lift off normal. Prakshepan Safalta. Artery tracking. Artery tracking. Fantastic. A proud moment for any Indian. The nation becomes just the sixth in the world to launch a spacecraft to Mars. Also, it is the least expensive Mars endeavor, standing at just $75 million. Peanuts when compared to the hundreds of millions of dollars spent on other space flights. Now let's see how ISRO plans to take such an inexpensive orbiter to Mars. Is it like this? Of course not. Life is never so simple. In fact, a trajectory like this would require a lot of fuel. The mission path that ISRO selected is a trajectory called the Hormone Transfer Orbit. This trajectory can send the spacecraft to Mars using the least possible amount of fuel. There are three main phases in this trajectory. First is the geocentric phase. In this phase, you can see that the spacecraft is gradually shifted into elliptical orbits of greater sizes. This maneuver requires burning of fuel only at those instants when the orbit needs to be expanded. After six such maneuvers are complete, the spacecraft gets enough momentum to break free of the Earth's sphere of gravitational influence. Next is the heliocentric phase. The spacecraft leaves the Earth in a direction which is tangential to Earth's orbit. The flight path is roughly one half of an ellipse around the Sun. Eventually, it will intersect the orbit of Mars at the exact moment that Mars is there too. And now, we are almost there. It's the Martian phase. The orbiter will finally enter into an orbit around Mars. At the time the orbiter reaches the closest approach to Mars, it is captured into an orbit around Mars by imparting a certain velocity, which is called a Mars Orbit Insertion Maneuver. And now the orbit is ready to explore the mysteries of Mars. 15 months, that's all it took for ISRO to make this happen. It has been a fascinating journey so far. Let's hope that come next September, the Red Planet will have a new visitor.